Hello everyone, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, so I took you guys through my morning. I actually did um, a quick little like 40 minute workout. Um, I did glutes, I did abs this morning and it's just things I just kind of picked up from doing uh, my workout classes with my girl Life With Glory B on Zoom. So yeah, that was really good. I've been feeling like I need to get back into working out. I also did a bike ride the other day, which was really nice as well. Um, so now I'm up bright and early. Today is a work day. It's a content shooting day. I'm shooting content for uh, Michael Kors. I'm shooting content for Dior Beauty. Um, and so I am in my Michael Kors look. I love this dress. It's definitely giving like 90s, but elevated. And I've been getting more into silver and I'm loving the silver detailing on this dress. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this content, but I'm gonna show you a, a better look at this dress in case any of you want to pick it up. It's so good. Like, look at the ribbing. You see that quality? Ugh. So look at the ribbing. I believe this comes in a few different colors. I love the Michael Kors symbol on the straps and it is, the straps are adjustable. It's just a black rib knit midi dress. You can kind of see where it hits on me and it comes with this super cute belt. You can't remove the belt, but I love the symbol, the Michael Kors symbol, and how it just hangs like that. Ah, it's so cute. So I got this dress in a size medium in case any of you are interested and I'll be sure to link it down below. I think it's great for the springtime. Just a simple, elegant black dress. I'm gonna throw a little blazer over top, but let me show you the shoes. Okay, so getting to the shoes. Stunning. I am loving the heel on these, like so sexy. I actually have these in orange. <laughs> the last time I worked with Michael Kors, I got the orange version and I love these so much. I've been wearing them a ton. They're the perfect pop of color for spring and summer and they are very, very comfortable with padding on the bottom. But I love the orange so much that I asked for the black because I do need a good like black strappy sandal with a fairly thicker heel. Like even though this is a stiletto, you see how it kind of juts out like that and gives you more surface area when you're walking. And these are very, very comfortable. They are true to size. I'm a US size 10 and I always get a 10 in Michael Kors shoes. They fit perfectly. And I thought it would go really well with this outfit. So I'm about to make some Instagram stories for Michael Kors. Um, I actually just popped them up for you guys so you can see them as well if you're not on Instagram, but I'll link these down below as well as the orange ones. All right guys, here's a better look at the shoes on. They are so sexy and understated. They are very, very comfortable. The bottom is padding and they're very easy to walk in. They are black patent leather. They also have them in orange patent leather and I believe white as well, but this is the full look. And I feel like a model. I do, it's something about this belt that I absolutely love. And by the way, Michael Kors is having a spring sale event with 25% uh, off of, I think pretty much every spring thing. Um, so head to the description box. I will link all of my favorite things from Michael Kors. Uh, the sale is going on until March 28th, 2023. Um, so it's going on right now. I will link all of the things I own from Michael Kors that I think you all would love, including these shoes. Oh, let me show you a bag that I got. A lot of you bought this bag. This bag, which comes in a ton of different colors, by the way. This is the perfect bag for summer. I love the stitching on it. It's huge. You can fit a laptop in it. Um, it's very much spring. But yeah, I will link all of my favorites from Michael Kors down below. Everything is 25% off. You don't need a code or anything. So yeah, check out that sale. 
Uh, so now that I finished this up, I'm gonna show you guys a few new things that I've gotten in because I've been shopping. Give me a moment. Huh. All right guys, so I'm finally done with my work for today at least anything i had to do like stories and filming now i just have a full day of editing and i'm gonna be editing editing all of this content all night <laughs> to get it to the brands but i wanted to show you all a few new in things that i've gotten in um i recently did a spring trends video and in that video i showed you guys a few new in items so if you didn't watch that re-watch it so you can or go ahead and watch it so you can see what i got in new but I have two new pair of Bottega sunglasses. These are both from the most recent um, collection. The first ones you have seen already, they are the silver and clear. They're almost like a aviator, not really. They're really, really fun. I like how clear they are. They have a yellow tint. But I really love that this is silver because I didn't really have any silver hardware uh, sunglasses. And you guys know I've been getting into silver with those Bottega drop earrings. These are probably my favorites. I think they are super cool. And I'm not sure if they have these online or anywhere yet. But if they do, I'll link them. These are kind of like rubber. And they are brown. Can you see? They're rubber, they're brown, they're like a deep cho chocolate brown, and they're just really cool. <laughs> they're so edgy and fun. And I had on a super cute outfit when I bought these and they went so well with the outfit that I just had to get them. Okay, so that's what's new in from Bottega. Oh, these are just so cool. And they're, you know, because they're rubber, it's hard to like break them, which is, ah, I love them. They're so good. My tan is really tanning and I wasn't even outside that long the other day. So yeah, two new pair of Bottega sunglasses. And I love this little case that they come in too. It's really fun. It's that Bottega green. It comes with a little um, cleaner and everything. It's really cute. I don't normally don't keep these kinds of things, but these are just adorable. So I'm going to keep those. Next, I have two pair of shoes. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen the first pair. It is these black suede lace up YSL uh, heels. And they're so good. As soon as I saw these online, I was like, I need these immediately. These are from the latest collection. They are so comfortable. Like I wore these to Sexy Fish in one of the previous vlogs. Like literally I was walking around Sexy Fish restaurant here in Miami Beach. Um, and they are very, very comfy. So comfy in fact that I ordered the brown pair as well. I mean, I think the brown pair are gonna go so well with the brown Bottega sunglasses. And I do wear a lot of, like, a lot of brown, but these are super fun. You need to get them if you get them a full size up because they run a full size small you can wrap these up around the ankle i'll pop a few pictures up from my instagram because as soon as i got these i couldn't help myself i had to take some self portraits in them and everyone's like the shoes the shoes so sexy and i also saw i believe like one of the housewives had them on as well and they just look so good they look good on anyone's foot um i'm normally a 41 in uh, Saint Laurent heels, but no, 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 I'm normally a 42. Um, in all Saint Laurent heels, I go up a full size. Usually I'm a 41 in any European made shoe, but their shoes run small, so. We have these, and then we have one more pair of shoes. And I got these on sale. There were like tons of sales happening. These are the Vetements, the uh, booties. Now, if you would have watched my Paris vlog, I have these in a camouflage uh, colors that go all the way up the thigh. This is just a little booty, but I love the shape of these and how comfortable they were. And I don't have any velvet boots. And so I thought these would be so beautiful come like fall uh, 
and winter for any of my fashion week looks or just regular looks because they're very very comfortable and i love the shape yeah so i went ahead and got these because they were like 75 percent off something crazy at uh farfetch or essence i can't remember which ones but yeah these are really really comfortable i got them in a 41 they fit great new in i'll link them down below if any of you are interested so that's pretty much it for the new in pieces that i didn't show you guys in the spring styling haul i also got in quite a bit of new jewelry but i'm actually going to do a full jewelry video a few of you have been asking about my jewelry i have a lot of statement jewelry um costume jewelry uh also like looks jewelry as well so we're just going to go through my full uh jewelry collection in another video so yeah you guys we have to get into this <laughs> Fenty Beauty, I'm too thrilled to be on their PR list. And of course they sent me their new uh, Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. I'm gonna try a few of these on, I think. It's really gonna destroy my lips, but I wanna try a few of them for you all. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into it. Currently I am wearing the Fenty uh, Gloss Balm gloss balm in the color Riri. It's my favorite. I don't have on any liner or anything and it is so good. I mean it's beautiful. This this turned me into a gloss girl but right now it's not about the gloss. It's about Fenty Beauty Fenty Beauty uh, Velvet Liquid Lipsticks the Fenty Icon. You've already seen me wear MVP. In fact, you've seen everyone wear MVP. So let's start with, I think I wanna try Breadwinner, which is a brown and you guys know I live for a brown. So let's take this off and try this out. Now, one thing to note about these uh, lipsticks is that they do not come off. Like you need makeup remover to get them off so yeah if you smudge this onto your face you might have to redo all your makeup because it's not coming off which i mean that's good but also plus i didn't really let this dry so this is coming off a little bit easier but trust me when you put that mvp on that red honey if it smudges you gotta start over okay Clean lips, let's try Breadwinner. I already love how smooth this goes on. Oh my God. Ooh, this is intense. And even though it's matte, it's uh, not drying, it's so creamy and moisturizing. I love it. I'm obsessed. It's giving vamp. Ooh. Ooh. I'm here for it. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Mmm, and creamy, like not drying at all. Usually the matte lipsticks really dry your lips out. I'm in love. This is my second favorite one. Oh my goodness, it's good. Don't worry, I'm going to link all of these down below. But do know the girlies are selling these out, so. Oh, so. Mmm. Riri, girl. You did that. Mmm, yes. Okay, we're going to try Riri, which is the color I have the gloss in. No. No. No, no. Mm -mm. Now I'm sure that looks beautiful on someone else. Maybe you line it up. You just use just a dot to like blend it in with the gloss or something. But no, honestly, I'll, I'll probably never wear that one. 
Um, let's try, let's try, that was C-Suite. We didn't like that one. No, that was Riri. Okay, let's try C-Suite. Oh wait. Okay, C-Suite. It also looks kind of moby. Mm. No. This is good for, ooh. This is good for like, if you want to just put a little dot in your gloss and like blend it, but. Next up we have MVP, which I've worn a lot. I have not tried HBIC yet, which is another red. So let's try this red. Try to get my lips as clean as possible. Mmm. This is pretty. So this is a deeper red than MVP. MVP, this is beautiful. This is stunning. Actually, this might be more orangey. And MVP is more blue. I love this. Yeah, this is beautiful. Super creamy. So this is the vibe with HBIC, a very vibrant red. Dang. <laughs> I'm giving Vixen. I'm feeling Oh, no, no. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so my favorites from this collection, well, they sent me five and I'm pretty sure there's only five. I love HBIC, which I have on now. Loving that brown, which is breadwinner. And also the other red that I really love is MVP, which is like universally looking wonderful on everyone. So yeah. I will link all of these down below if any of you are interested and you can check them out. Okay, so now I just got in a package from Amazon. I got a little co coat holder that I wanna use as like a clothing wrap, but a very small one. So we're gonna build that and we're gonna see if it works out because I don't like to keep a lot of clothes out in this room. Um, and I really wanna get rid of the rolling wrap because it's taking up too much space. So. Let's see if this rolling, I mean, if this rat coat rat works out. And of course, I'll link it below for you guys. So let's go be Bob the Builder. Y'all know we love to build things over here. Ooh, y'all, look at my new sunglasses with this lip. Oh, uh, ah. Uh. By the way, I don't know if I told you all, but skins. Um, okay, so here is the rack. These are the pieces of it. It has a little round like part and this is where the things hang. And then it has these parts that connect here. And then the base of it is like, oh my God, this is so dirty. Um, the base of it is like a marble slab. Can you see the ribbing and the bone in the slab? So I think the slab comes in like black, comes in white. I thought white would be good since the pole is black and I have black accents in this room. So I'm gonna quickly, it has a little hole here. I hope this is gonna be sturdy enough. I'm gonna quickly put this together and see how it works out. I'll show you guys how it looks in the end, how tall it is and everything. And then if it's, if it can withstand the weight of all of my new things without crumbling and falling apart or looking crazy, um, then I'll link it down below or I'll just put it in my Amazon storefront. So let me do this. All right guys, so here's how it turned out and it's actually super cute. I really like it. Um, oh, it's perfect. 
I think this is where we're gonna leave it too. Right now I have, as you can see, just a regular rolling rack. I can't move any further because there's things on there that are embargoed for a while. But yeah, this rolling rack is taking up like so much space over there. So, and I only have a few things on it. So this is perfect. And I love it right next to the mirror. Ah, so cute. I'm gonna put some clothes on it and see how sturdy it is. But for the most part, it's pretty sturdy. And so I'll link it down below. Okay, so I just turned the top hook forward and it's perfect. It's super sturdy. Oh, I think it looks so good. It also here has like little handles for like scarves and things. There on the middle and at the top. I love it. It's giving aesthetically beautiful. Ah! I finally saw my problems because I only need just a small rack for new things in. Everything else is literally packed into my closet, which we haven't been in here in a while. So let me turn the light on so you guys can see. But yeah, everything else is in my closet. But like how cute! I freaking love it. I'm obsessed. I will link it down below, you guys. It also literally took me three minutes to put it together. <laughs> you just put the little stickies at the bottom, which is very important for leveling and making sure it doesn't wobble, and you just twist it all in. Like, oh, I love it. I wanna decorate it. All right, so I've cleaned up quite a bit, but I wanted to rewind it back to yesterday. Um, I went and got a skinny med spa facial at Ball Harbor Shops. I had no idea that Skinny Med Spa had a place there. It's on the first floor of Saks Fifth Avenue, um, kind of by the perfumes and such. So I'm gonna rewind it back, take you guys with me for that, do a little shopping, a little eating, um, and then we'll come back here. Hi guys, so we have rewound it back for you all. I'm about to head to Ball Harbor Shops to have a facial. Um, I'm really excited about it because this is actually time for me to have one. I usually get them every two weeks. Uh, so let me show you my outfit of the day and then we will head there. I'm gonna pop on a little bit of this J'adore uh, Dior body cream. It is so good. I already have on the Kiehl's, but you guys know the Kiehl's cream the Corp, it doesn't have a smell, but it's very moisturizing. So I'll put this on top because it's also moisturizing and it smells beautiful. And I'm loving my outfit today as well. By the way, I've been, when I use too much lip gloss, I get like a crack here in my lip. Um, and it's been hurting, so I've been taking it easy with the gloss. But I've been using this Burt's Bees overnight intensive lip treatment and it helps so much like if i open my mouth too wide right here it splits y'all and it hurts like heck so if you have that problem or just dry lips i'll link this down below you can check it out i'm fresh face since i am getting a facial let me show you the look because i love the look it's an easy breezy look for the day. I'm wearing this top by Garris Fatim, which is a black owned business based in Paris. Um, when I went to Paris, I wore this really cool dress out to dinner with the girls. That was the same brand. Um, this is called the tennis top and you just wrap it around and then it clips up here. It's really cool. The pants are Fina Will, another black owned business, super wide pants. I'm gonna slide on my Hermes denim sandals. I think we're gonna rock with my Chanel denim bag today. I'm gonna toss on my new sunglasses that you would have seen in a previous video. Are these it? Yeah. These Bottega silvery, very silver sunglasses. Yep. That's the look. Let's pick a fragrance and I'll show you guys the full outfit. So here's the full look with the Garris Fatim tennis top, these Fina Well pants. I do have the matching top, but it's a little too hot for that top and they do have pockets, which is great. My denim Hermes 
Oran sandals. I got these in recently. I changed to these Dior uh, sunglasses because since I'm not wearing any makeup, I need to cover as much of my face as possible. Um, and then I have my Chanel denim classic flap. That is the look. For today, we're probably gonna stop at Makoto and have lunch as well, but I love it. It's very easy breezy and uh, the pants are super easy to clean. I've taken to them to the cleaners every time so I don't care if they're like dusting the floor, but let's go get a facial cause Lord knows we need one. Oh, fragrance of the day, we're gonna go with this Hermes Amber Narguli. I've been loving how this smells. It's very like spring smells really good every time i wear it i get compliments all right let's go Now you are all caught up. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day editing. I have quite a few things I need to edit. I also wanna dig into this Kim Folk magazine that I bought from Amazon. There is a bunch of articles and cool things in here about um, interiors and interior design. So yeah, I'm gonna get into that, but I will check back in with you all tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a super fun evening. I am attending the Hugo Boss fashion show and after party. Uh, so yeah, I will see you all tomorrow.
hello everyone it is a brand new day um i did a little twist out on my hair yesterday and i used the tracy ellis ross foaming holding gel cream and it really gave incredible like definition i have to do them bigger next time so they're not so defined but i'm loving it i can tell that this is definitely gonna withstand like humidity it's not crispy it's not crunchy my hair is still soft but there's a different kind of hold to the hair that i've never quite had with the camille rose naturals that just makes your hair really soft um and it does give great definition but the definition doesn't hold in like humidity this will so yeah i showed this in a previous vlog i did a haul from sephora it is amazing in fact let me grab it so i can show you okay here it is it's the pattern curl mousse with volume and healthy hold if you live in a warm weather climate you're going on a tropical vacation wearing your hair natural and wanting to do a twist out this is it or if you just want your twist out to last this is it this is the first time i tried this and i love it like look at that definition and it's gonna stay i can feel it it's still soft but it does have more of a hold um okay so i'm up pretty not so early because i'm heading to nikki beach one of my favorite places here in miami beach to check out year of hours they're launching swimwear and they're having a cool little like lunch brunch situation at nikki beach um, and it is a beach, but it's really, really nice. I've taken you guys there. I was there for New Year's. If you watched that vlog, I was there for my birthday. If you watched that vlog. So yeah, it's kind of a beachy type of atmosphere. So I need to figure out what I'm going to wear. I just did a really natural face today. The lip is Riri um, Gloss Balm. Love this. Um, anything else I use for my makeup, I'll link down below. I have on my Skims house dress. I love these because they have a built-in mesh bra. So if you are against the nips, this dress is for you. I'm wearing a medium. They come in like five colors. Uh, I have to figure out what I'm going to wear because I want to look nice, but I know it's like a beach type of situation. So let's see. I'll check back in when I'm dressed and ready. All right, guys, so I figured out a look. I went with this bodysuit. I believe it's from Alex NYC. I've had it for quite a bit. I'm not sure if they still make it, but if so, I'll link it down below, my Bottega earrings. And I'm back in these Fino Well pants that I wore the other day. Uh, I just think it's the perfect vibe for the beach. And um, we're gonna put on a little bit more of the Fenty Beauty riri gloss now i love the riri gloss in this color but i recently tried on the riri velvet lip and it was not giving but this is beautiful for the shoes you guys are gonna love these because i wore them the other day when i was shooting some content and i got asked so many questions about these nude sparkly heels my girl maria teresa lopez she is a youtuber businesswoman she has a jewelry line um and she also has a shoe brand she lives here mainly in uh miami beach she created these sandals they're so cool they have this loop that you put your whole foot through and then your toes go through here like so and they are absolutely stunning they come in a ton of different colors this is like the brown nude and i wore these the other day so many people stopped me these are super comfortable um, I, will, I will have them in a 41. I wear a US size 10. Um, and they are made in Italy. Super, super comfortable um, with the leather at the bottom. So I think we'll wear these um, because no one's going to see my feet anyway. These pants are so long. Okay, let's pick a scent. And let's get out of here because I'm running a bit late. I think I'm going to wear my new sunglasses too. I don't know if you guys watched the previous styling video but i got these really cute silver bottega veneta uh sunglasses and like i feel like the silver matches the silver in my earrings also from bottega so that's going to be the look for today really kind of simple yet chic it's giving beach a little bit they're also going to give us a swimsuit i believe so we'll see i don't think i'm going to change it to a swimsuit today but 
that's the look okay so here's the full look i had to switch out the shoes because the pants are just too long so i put on my uh platform gucci monogram slides i still love these so much i have them in brown as well um yeah so now my pants don't dust the ground so much but this is the full look also took out my Ferragamo bag um, I went to an event at their store here in Ball Harbor Shops and they actually gifted me this bag. Um, I believe this is from the first collection that um, Maximilian Davis did. So we're going to pull her out. The price point on this is pretty good as well. And I love the color. Super fun. Let's choose a fragrance. Okay, I think we're going to... I've been loving this from uh, Hermes. The Ambra Narguli fragrance i just think it's very fun and festive it definitely gives like spring vibes i love that and i think we'll mix it with the molecule 01 just to add a little edge i'll link both of those down below and now it's time to go So I'm back from Nikki Beach. It was super fun. I met a lot of new friends and saw a lot of old acquaintances and friends as well. We got a little gift bag here. I'm gonna go through that. I checked out the new swimsuit collection, which was nice. We had a really nice dinner. Rio was there. Everyone loved my outfit. Everyone thinks this is a skirt. So I love going like this <laughs> to show them that it's pants. Um, so yeah, it was super fun. I always love Nikki Beach. If you are ever in Miami, definitely visit. The vibes are really nice. It gives like Tulum vibes. I've been there a few times. The food is actually really good. I got the salmon with rice and like grilled vegetables. Delicious. So let me show you what was in my gift bag. Of course, they gifted all of us swimsuits from the new line year of hours swim i believe they do like workout gear as well and this is their first foray into swimwear and i got this super cute like lilac purple number you guys know i've been really getting into purple so this is the bottom, how cute. And it has like ribbing, if you can see. And this is the top, very kind of sporty, which I like. So I'll make sure to link Year of Hours down below and shout out to them for inviting me to this super fun event. Of course, they gave us some sunscreen. We got some glow screen from Super Goop. I love their um, Unseen sunscreen. It's one of my favorites. We have the Tartelette Tubing Mascara. 
Also have Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I've been wanting to try this. So yeah, very interested to check this out. I'll link it down below. Uh, what else? We have more um, from Tarte and Ellis Brooklyn. And they also gave us, I think I'm most excited about this because <laughs> y'all know your girl loves a candle. We have Hotel Lobby Candle Miami. And it definitely is giving tropical vibes. Like it's not even out of this box and I can smell it. Oh, I think they gave us a gift card too. Let me see. Very cool. It's like a little key card since it's called a uh, hotel um, lobby. And actually the brand owner was there today. I followed her on Instagram. Super cool. So what I'm gonna do now is chill. I actually have some stories for Michael Kors that I need to post today. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. And I'm just gonna rest for the rest of the day. I don't think I'm gonna vlog anymore. So. I am doing a like pool cabana day uh, at the Ritz Carlton and a dime at the Standard. So I think we'll do that the next day of this vlog and then I'll sign off because I have to go to New York. And that'll be a whole nother vlog. So if you are enjoying the video thus far, give it a thumbs up. And my makeup held up pretty well being that I was in direct sunlight <laughs> like the whole time. All right, guys, I'll check back in with you tomorrow. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a brand new day. I think today is going to be the last day of the vlog. I'm eating my breakfast, a banana. I shot a bit of a campaign this morning, which is why I already have on a face. And I'm about to put on a fragrance, even though I'm just gonna be around the house for the morning. I'm putting on Anishio Musk Therapy. This is one of the samples that they gave me and I'm loving this one. Ooh, it's very musky, a little bit masculine, subtly sweet. I love fragrances like this. A little peppery too. Um, so today we have quite a bit going on. I'm having some furniture delivered for my office. Um, I have a meeting at the bank. What else? Oh, I'm having dinner tonight at the Standard uh, Spa Hotel here in Miami Beach. They have this cool bar. Uh, and it has a new tasting menu. So Rhea and I are gonna go check it out. It looks really, really sexy and fun. So that's what we're doing today. I was gonna do a beach day today, but it is raining. Like it's raining and it's pretty chilly for it to be Miami. It's like 60 something degrees today. So I had that moved. That'll be in another vlog. Uh, but until then, I wanna show you guys some new in items I got from brands. Um, I'm not going to show you the home decor in this video. I'm going to do a whole like office reveal uh, because I'm really, really excited about what's being delivered today. In fact, it should be here soon. Uh, so in the meantime, let me show you some new items like PR things I've gotten in from brands. And my puff is really puffing today, like it's giving puff. <laughs> Alright guys, first up, this is a Skims house dress. It does have a little built-in bralette in case you're interested. I'm wearing, I believe, a medium. I probably could have went with a small, but I love this. And it's a little bit chillier, so anytime it's chilly, I like to pretend. <laughs> like I have a little bit more coverage here in Miami. Anywho, while I wait for my furniture, which should be here momentarily, you know you're getting old when like furniture just brings you joy. Uh, we're gonna get into some gifts I've gotten from brands starting with La Pima. I actually have quite a few sunglasses from them. Um, when they reached out and wanted to send me something from their latest collection. So let me show you what I got. It comes beautifully packaged in a black box. 
we have a leather like a uh, green almost like a forest emeraldy more like a forest green leather case oh uh, wait till you guys see these can you guess the color i had to do it when i saw that they had these beautiful almost like a cherry red sunglasses i got them because i don't have any red sunglasses and red is the hottest color of 2023 if you happen to watch my spring trends video if you didn't go back and watch it these are so cool ah! and they come in a ton of different shapes as well i love the shape of these also you get a nice little um like a little felt cleaner for your sunglasses as well oh they are so stunning and what i love about them is they're super lightweight um and a little bit stretchy and what i mean by stretchy is there's a spring here that allows this so it has a little bit of wiggle room so if you you know have a wider head <laughs> and sometimes sunglasses are pushing into your temples and it gives you like a headache these are for you all of their sunglasses have this feature which i love look how thick those frames are as well ah! i love them i'll link them down below they're not like they're they're red but they're not a true like fire engine red they have a tint of like pink a tint of like coral a tint of like orange but still <laughs> my first pair of red sunglasses and i could not be more thrilled so shout out to lapima for sending these i'll link these down below i wish i had the name of them um i'll link these exact ones down below and a few others from them that i am loving oh duh the name is on the actual sunglasses so these are handcrafted in brazil at the lapima atelier and these are the sebastian sunglasses from the vila collection I love them. Oh, that's, um, okay, I'm gonna come out. All right, guys, my furniture's here. Be right back. All right, guys, so I'm looking in my sunglasses drawer, and yes, I do have red sunglasses. Why do I forget all about these? I really need to style my items more. These are the Bottega ones that everyone, wait, no, Luebe, Luebe. I also have them in yellow. Maybe I'll do like a summer accessories video for you guys if you're interested. I do have quite a bit of sunglasses and living in Miami, you need them because the sun, unlike today, is usually really doing its thing and Prada. Oh, and I still have yet to wear my new Louis, Louis Vuitton sunglasses that I picked up my last trip to New York. I really have to find somewhere to wear these. These are like birthday sunglasses. Like these are on moment. Anywho, the ones from La Pima are giving. I have another pair from La Pima. Where are they? I think they're in New York. I'll have to bring those back. But yeah, yeah. the way that that was not my furniture, that was the guy I hired to come and fix the furniture. And I thought he was the one delivering the furniture because that's what he said. And now I had to cancel that service and get a refund because the furniture is not here yet for him to build. Annoyed. Anywho, I'm trying to think, do I have anything else new in from brands to show you guys other than the La Pima? I do, but I think I'm gonna include it in another video because it's swimwear and I am doing like a day at the beach soon at the Ritz. So I, I guess I'll show you guys my new end swimwear then. Actually, no, I should show you, well, I already showed you this swimsuit from Year of Hours, but I have two more in that I'll show you in another vlog. So yeah. I guess I'll just check in with you guys later. I have a Zoom meeting with a brand, a brand that I have been trying to work, well, I've worked with them before, but 
I've been trying to get back on their radar. So yeah, I'm happy to be having a call with them today. I need to go to the bank. I, so many things. I'll probably just check in with you guys when I'm getting ready to head to dinner tonight. I'll see you. Hi guys. So I am back. I had a meeting with a brand. I'm very excited. I'm going to be working with one of my favorite online luxury uh, retailers. You'll hear about it soon. Um, and then, what else? I went to the bank. I had to do some adulting. Adulting is really like strenuous, y'all. Oh, especially when it comes to money. Uh, so yeah, I had to go and handle some portfolio things. But I did get some new items in from brands. So I wanna show you what I got. I got two pieces in from Cami NYC. <laughs> How cute! So they sent me this two-piece set. I am absolutely loving it. Let me drop you guys down so you get a better view. It's this two-piece set. It, it's like this floral mesh midi skirt along with this super cute mesh top. Oh, this is so beautiful. I'm wearing a medium and it took me a little minute to get in this. So I feel like it. the top might run a little small, but I do have broad shoulders. But yeah, how cool is this? And then this little strap you can untie. You know, you can do a little something fun with it, but I like it up tied around the neck. Let me show you the skirt. Okay, hopefully you can see the skirt. I'm a little dark, a little backlit. And where it hits me is about mid calf. I'm five foot six inches tall. I'm wearing a medium in the top and a bottom. And I love it, it's giving spring florals you have your pinks you have green you have black it's very beautiful i love this uh, and i love the little ruching on the side yeah so here's the ruching you can see it better in the mirror here beautiful two-piece set from cami nyc i will link it below i'm wearing a medium i was maybe going to wear this tonight to dinner but i love it so much and i have a ton of events starting on Thursday when I get back in Miami. So I'm thinking I'm gonna wear this to one of the events instead. This is definitely an event look, not just, you know, a dinner look. So let me show you the other piece I got. You're gonna love it. Okay, next up from Cami NYC is this blazer. Um, I actually got this blazer in a large and I'm happy I did because it's the perfect fit. Um, I'm normally a medium, but got this in a large. It's beautiful. Uh, this is the only functioning button. There is one on the inside as well here. The, the rest of these two are not functioning, but like, look how, look at the quality on this. There's a little bit of a shoulder pad there. You see where it hits me? It's the perfect length for my arms. Like the sleeves are the perfect length. They have covered buttons. Can you see those? Y'all see the tailoring on this. It's impeccable, but what I love most is this. Can you see it? I, I know the tag is still on, but it's a little open back blazer with the heart. How cute is this? I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Like, can you see this? Like, can you imagine this with like a beautiful denim skirt, like a maxi skirt? Ugh and a nice pump for like a special occasion or a little more dressy event. You can even wear it with like some slouchy jeans to edge it up and a pointy toe black heel. You guys know pointy toes are in for spring. I love it. Uh, I would definitely recommend sizing up one size because this is a large and if I would have got a medium, it would have been a little bit too tight. And you can wear it sans anything under. I don't have anything under here. I'm not gonna pop out. Um, I could wear a little bit of double-sided sticky tape or, uh, yeah, just some sticky tape because anything you wear is going to show in the back. So you kind of want to go sans bra. Excellent quality. So shout out to Cami NYC for sending over these pieces. I will link them all down below. I love a good New York City brand. And this is the little uh, dust bag that all of my pieces came in. So happy to have this. 
I can pack these things up expertly. Maybe I'll take this blazer for my trip to New York. Although I know it's cold in New York. I don't know. We'll see y'all. Okay, I have a few hours before dinner tonight. Um, let me give you the details on dinner tonight. Like, where are we even going? Okay, uh, we're going to Monterey Bar, which is inside the Standard Spa uh, Hotel here in Miami Beach. It should be fun. It looks really, really, like, cute and sexy in there. And they have a new curated menu. Um, so we're going to go check it out. The menu includes southern a southern sea dish made from scallops crispy duck prosciutto sweet corn custard scallions topped with shaved black truffle they have a tropi tuna um a coconut encrusted yellowfin tuna sticky purple rice cake chili torched bok choy with hints of pineapple teriyaki like <laughs> we about to eat y'all and by we i mean us um i'll check back in when i'm ready to head to dinner tonight by the way my furniture came i'm not gonna show it to you in this vlog it's gonna be a whole nother vlog but things are coming together here in the office guys <laughs> all right guys so i'm getting ready to head to dinner tonight at the standard spa um it's a pretty chill dinner even though like the decor is super sexy so let me show you my look my makeup is my everyday makeup look the lip is actually the fenty velvet uh new lip in the color hbic and i feel like on me this is a much deeper red than the mvp the earrings are new and i showed them to you in my updated jewelry video um, i'll link them down below they're very fun we're doing gold tonight let me take you out here and show you the rest of my look okay i'm wearing this zara tube dress it's the black denim tube dress with the slit up the back um i don't think they have this at zara anymore so i'll link similars the jacket is from iho it's like a little distressed white denim jacket i got this on sale from farfetch and I love it. I want it like a stark contrast to the white. Uh, tonight's bag, my Fendi Zucca print baguette. The shoes, my Bottega um, mesh heels. It's been a while since I've worn these. I actually brought them back from New York the last time I was there. Uh, tonight's fragrance is by Rado. Are you gonna focus? Are you gonna focus? Tonight's fragrance by Rado. One of my favorites. Yeah, smells incredible. And that's it. I'm gonna call the car, make sure I pack my lip, even though I don't think I'll need to reapply at all because the MVP one stayed on my lips all night. Alrighty, let's go. Let's go eat. Mm, I'm starving.
All right, guys, just got back from Monterey Bar at the Standard Spa Hotel. Super cute, very, very cute vibes. They only see 23 people. It's very like cozy, dark, like a little speakeasy. They have a list of bites and incredible cocktails. I got the Lido, which is very light, refreshing, um, almost like a mojito. Really, really very good with cucumber and just very refreshing and light. Um, they also have like beers and wines as well. And for the bites, you have to get the scallops. Now, I love scallops. I'm like a scallop connoisseur. I know all the best scallops in Miami Beach. And these are in the top two for sure. So good with like a corn and bacon. All the things were delicious. Uh, I also got the tater tots. They're like potatoes. They have some kind of cream, like cheese on the inside. Very, very good. I also had the baked uh, oysters. Those were good as well. And then I had the bread pudding for dessert. Yum. If you're in Miami Beach, you want a cute little date experience, maybe you're even staying at the Standard Hotel, which is a really affordable hotel on the bay, uh, or more affordable than staying like on the actual Miami Beach, then definitely check it out. You probably need to make reservations because it's so small. So shout out to them for inviting your girl for a dine. I really enjoyed myself. Um, and now I'm gonna pack because I'm heading to New York. I'm flying out first thing in the morning and that will be in a brand new vlog. So if you enjoyed this vlog, give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Everything you've seen in today's video, I've linked down below in the description box for you all. I would love it if you would use my links. That helps me out a bit. And I'll see y'all in New York. A new vlog coming soon. Bye guys.